Welcome to another edition of the Seat Shop installation video series. In this video we're going to be showing you how to replace a driver or passenger armrest cover on any Ford Expedition, Excursion, as well as the F-Series Super Duty trucks. Now you don't have to take the armrest off of the seat, but we have one that we already took off just to show you exactly how to install it, what you're going to be looking for when you do this install in the truck. Now Brian's going to show you a couple of items as well as walking you through the off-seat armrest install. Perfect. Um, a lot of the foam, the main reason you need to replace these is just over the years the, the, the vinyl armrest cover just gets really cracked and beat up, a little sharp edges. You'll know when you put your elbow, elbow down there, it pokes you and it's going to drive you crazy. This particular foam uh, cushion is actually in good shape. Sometimes uh, it's, it's not anywhere close to that. It looks like a grenade went off on the front end of it and it can be in pretty bad shape. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you, I'll address how to kind of do some repairs on that before you put the new cover on so it's going to pad it back up and everything. Otherwise it's not going to be worth a dang just putting a cover over it if the foam's all gone. Now to put this on, uh, we'll include a uh, little vegetable grocery bag, something you get at the grocery store. Take one of these, it makes it a whole lot easier to, to install. We're going to open this bag up. I cut the end, this is the part that's, uh, that's sealed up. So now this is just one open bag here. Okay, now, cut that, I'll cut a little bit off the end here because this thing is pretty long. Okay, now, you simply just drape this over the, uh, the original foam, get your new cover, get the elastic across the back, and this is going to pull straight on. There we go. That bag just eliminates any of the friction letting this thing slide right on. It's going to save you 10 minutes of pulling and tugging and everything. Once you got to that point, take your middle and index finger, kind of work your way through the bottom here to grab the elastic. Then you're going to start pulling, push the foam down and in and then pull out with your left hand here pulling the elastic around. There we go. So if you got any excess bag, you can, you can cut it off here. You can pull it and it'll just tear. You can cut it out a little bit. Now that's on like there. Now if this is crooked anyway, if you're watching your seam going down the side, if it's kind of veering one way or the other, you can really work the cover. You can twist it back and forth and work them around. So if it's a little crooked, you can definitely do some adjustment while you've got it on there. Now we're going to, now those ones done, I'm going to show you how to do it actually when it's in the truck, which is how you'll actually be installing it because yep. there's no real need to take it off to do the install. So this is an OEM armrest right here. And these armrest covers are made in vinyl. Um, a lot of people mistake that. They think they're in leather. But everything on the seating surface of a seat is going to be genuine leather. Any of the side skirting is going to be vinyl as well as the armrest. So on the back side of this, like Brian was showing you, there's going to be an elastic. So just reach your fingers around and you'll be able to twist that around the foam. Now here's the bolt that actually holds on the armrest. Um, it's going to be a Torx bit. That's like a star bit and the size you'll need if you're going to take it off. Um, for example, if you're replacing a top cover, you'll need to take it off. It's going to be a size T50 Torx. Um, just, just once you have the elastic ground back, you'll you know, just work the cover off. And it's definitely easier in the truck because the seat's going to be bolted to the frame. Uh, there we go. All right. This yeah. on. You got that bag. Bag. There you go. Now, when I'm doing the install with it, when the seat's in the truck. I'll, a lot of times I'll go from the front to the back. I'll open it be from the fr from the front door, and then sometimes I'll be in the back. When I'm taking the original cover off, I'll usually start in the back because it's easier being on the second row to get get behind, you know, the crack in between the the seat and the armrest, so you can get get the elastic. It's a little easier from that angle. When I'm putting the new cover on, I usually come through the front door with the seat with the uh, armrest cover up. You can pull it straight down. Then usually I'll finish from the back back there. I'll pull it get in the back seat so I can pull it around. It's a little easier to get to, to hook all the way that way. So you, you're going to be jumping back and forth from front to back. So, all right. So we got our bag cover on there, and just go ahead and you know obviously feed it on like a sock. Just going to go over the top. I should work it down like that, and then reach your fingers inside the back of here. Now it's going to be tight, so be prepared for that. Pull that elastic stretch around the back and then tuck it all in. You got those scissors. Yeah. As you can see here, we got some excess bags sticking out. 
So we're just gonna take the scissors, cut it as far as you can in there, and then you can actually just push it back inside that, inside the elastic. Go ahead and straighten it up, get it all straight. And um, now we're gonna walk you through a few quick tips here on um, things to do for, or for troubleshooting. Okay, if your foam's in really bad shape, uh, this one's in good shape, but if your foam's really bad, right about where your, your elbow usually hits, this section here, a lot of times you'll see it where it's just missing, you know, an inch or two of foam, and you, sometimes you're gonna see the metal frame all the way down there in there. We've, we've seen that happen too. What you'll need to do is uh, just ask us when you're ordering, ask us for, to throw in some extra foam for you, uh, just kind of on a case by case. If you need it, we'll throw some in there for you, but sometimes you don't need it. Like in this case, we wouldn't need it, but I'm gonna show you how to, to patch it up if, if your foam is really shot and there's a whole bunch missing. This is regular half inch foam. Basically, I'll take a pair of scissors. If there's a real big hole in there, usually it's gonna be, you know, the deeper the hole, it's gonna be smaller in the middle, but it's gonna get wider out and more shallow once it gets more wide. So sometimes I'll cut little pieces, I'll cut a chunk based on the hole, and I'll stick that down in the very bottom of it, and then I'll, I'll layer it on top of it, keep layering it up. So I'll cut little pieces to fill the whole thing up, and then I'll wind up, once I get it all flush up to the top and that hole filled in with new foam, then I'll put one solid piece over the whole thing to patch that hole so it, it's smooth, it's one smooth, solid surface over the top. Um, what you'll need to use, just uh, 3M, just any spray adhesive, you can get it at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. I have that for it. Uh, so glue all that, all the little pieces down in there, and then uh, you want to glue one big long strip over that. Once I got that glued, I'll usually take some uh, duct tape, and I'll run a strip coming from here around the front of it there, and then I'll do I'll do overlapping strips all the way back. Now, when you're putting that on, you don't want to compress it down too much, where it just pancakes this all the way flat. You can just put a little tension on it, so you still got some extra puff up of the uh, of the foam the extra foam you added on there. So I'd have taped that all the way back. You don't want to come past, past that bolt hole. So I'll just run tape up to about here and then you can run a rear piece that runs, runs to the back. Once you get that on, then you'll start with your normal install process. Start with a vegetable bag, pull it over, you'll be good to go. But if you need that extra foam, just holler at us when you're ordering it. Ask us to throw some in that for you. We'll throw it in there. Makes it a whole lot easier. Here's how to order. Visit our website at www.theseatshop.com. Use the seat finder at the top right to select a year, make, and model to find the correct products for your vehicle. Find the product you are looking for and click learn more to see additional details about that product. Select the appropriate interior color, enter a quantity, and click add to cart to check out. If you have any other questions, please give us a call at 214-710-2565.